Since St. Patrick's Day is quickly approaching, let's make some magic shamrocks. All you need for this project is a black piece of paper, a shamrock stencil, and some chalk pastels. Since we're sticking with the St. Patrick's Day theme, you will want light green, dark green, and maybe even a golden yellow chalk pastel, but you could always switch it up and do a different color combination if you like. To begin, we are going to outline our shamrock with our chalk pastel. Notice that I moved my paper out of the way so that I'm not getting any chalk dust on it. You can do whichever colors you want first, but I'm starting with a light green and I'm making a really nice and solid coat of chalk pastel. You want to make sure that you're applying a really nice layer of chalk. If you don't add enough, then your magic shamrock might not work. So to make sure that it will work, I go through and I go back and forth a few times in each section to have a really nice thick layer of chalk. I'm switching colors every once in a while. It's up to you what pattern or sequence you want to do. I'm doing light green, dark green, yellow and repeating. You could do smaller sections of color and repeat more frequently, but it's up to you in what design you want in the end. Alrighty, now that our shamrock is nicely coated and outlined, we are going to bring back that black piece of paper and position our shamrock on it. Once you have it in the spot that you would like, it's super important that you hold it down with one hand. You cannot let that shamrock slide away. Then you are going to use your index finger and push that chalk outward onto your black paper. So I'm carefully going around the edges of my shamrock and I am smudging that chalk onto my black paper. Once again, try your best not to move your shamrock because if you do, your design won't turn out. Once you're done and you make it to the other side of your shamrock, it's time for the big reveal. Lift up your stencil and see the magic shamrock that you have just created. Now it's time to fill up the other half of our paper by repeating this process again. I'm going to reuse my stencil to save paper, but if you like you could always use a new one that doesn't have chalk colors already on it. So I'm deciding where that stencil is going to go before I start adding color. And once I'm ready, I'm going to remove my paper and apply a new fresh layer of chalk. This time I'm going for a rainbow design with your pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. I thought it would be appropriate. So I'm using all of my rainbow colors and just going over top of the greens that I did last time. Even though it seems a little funky, it actually will work if you reuse your old shamrock. Once you've got that chalk layered on nicely, position your shamrock and repeat the process of smudging your colors. Sometimes it's helpful to smudge a section multiple times so that you're really pushing all of that chalk out there. Now it's time for the big reveal of our rainbow shamrock. And I think this one looks really neat because of the vibrant colors. Um, and it goes well with your St. Patrick's Day colors on the left. So you can choose whichever color scheme you like for your shamrocks, but these are two great ideas. I decided to just put some little dots in the background to fill up that negative space. You could do all sorts of different things like gold coins or anything else St. Patrick's Day themed but I kept it simple with some nice white dots. I love this project because it's super simple and the results always turn out great. I love using the shamrock stencils, but you could always try it with other shapes such as hearts, letters, numbers, anything like that. 